All right, in this section of our tutorial, we are going to create pages and then we'll create a main menu for our website. Then later on, we'll also create the footer menu, which will look something like this. Okay, so how do we do that? So back into our WordPress website over right here, we are going to exit the plugin area and come over here to appearance, menus. And you see over here, we don't have any item we can add to the menu. So to start with, we are going to create pages. So we're going to come over here to all pages and you realize we have the default pages that come along with the default install of WordPress. So to create a page, we are going to say add a new page. I'll close this home page, not Hamza, sorry. <laughs> okay, so I will not always show pre-published checks. So I'll publish the page come back here, add another page, and this is going to be the about page, publish. All right, so now back into our dashboard, we are now going to head straight back to the appearance, then menus. And over here, we're going to create our main menu, and it's going to be the primary menu. So we'll say create menu. Now you realize that we have items that we can add to our menu. So I'm going to simply select the contact page, blog page, about page, and the home page. Then I'll add to the menu. I can reorder this. So by dragging and dropping, and I save the menu. Now when I come over here to our website and I reload, this is going to change and also we'll see our menu. And it's changing because, first of all, we installed the Cadence theme, so it comes with its own layout, but also now we have our main menu showing up over here. And this is the same menu that has the same menu items like this. Later on, I'll show you how to add a call to action button just like this, and also these navigation buttons in this tutorial. So next, we're going to create our footer menu, which is this over here. So we're going to come back here to our menus, and we're going to create a new menu. And this is going to be a footer menu. And we're going to assign it to be the footer. And then we say create menu. And for this menu, we're not going to create pages for it. But as well, you can add pages to that menu just like we did for our main menu. In this case, we're only going to use custom links. So you can probably grab a link online that you want to reference to, for example, to the you know, another website, or for example, to my homepage over here, and you can just copy that URL. Sample here, I can say my story. Then you add to the menu. You can add as many other custom links as you want. The hashtag sign over here enables you to add a custom link without necessarily adding a URL. But that means that that custom link won't be clickable. It's basically for demo purposes. Once you are done, add that item to your menu and now you can reorder them. Okay, so I will simply just say save menu. Now we have created our main menu and the footer menu. Next, what we are going to look into is fixing our URLs. Like you saw over here, our blog page has a very funny URL. We can change this URL to look a little bit way better and user friendly. So if you come back here to our dashboard and we're going to come over here straight to permalinks and we set this to be to the post name. This means that it will show the website name and then that post or page name in the URL section. So when I save this, when I come back here to our blog page, I reload this. This is going to change to now our blog page. All right, so I'm going to copy this URL. I'm going to come back to our appearance menus and I'm going to fix what we had already added, which is under our news and blog, and we're going to add our blog URL. Okay, then the other settings we have to look into, for example, are the reading settings. So when we come over here to our settings and come over here to reading settings, we can set up to have our home page as the static page for our real home page. Now, this means that if we create our home page, every other time someone keys in our website URL, automatically the home page will show up as the front page instead of showing us the latest blog posts that are showing up on our website. So to do that, we are going to simply just select static page and come over here, we select our home page. Later on in this tutorial, we will select 
the post page as our blog post page but that is after creating the layout that we want for our blog posts now when we go to the general settings here we can make changes to the site name the site title the tagline and a lot more to start off with our website name is our travel and our tagline is work play and travel hard then over here we can set up the time zone so the time zone for my website or for my locality is plus three and then i can as well select the date format that i want so this is the one that i want and the time format is going to stay just as it is over here and the week starts on sunday for me so i'll say save changes and now when we reload our home page boom now we have our home page which is actually currently a blank page and we have our website name over here and it looks like we are good to get started now customizing the home page of our website including the headers and the footers of our website so see you in the next section